The SITSI meeting is going to be in November, and November is a very nice time of the year in Houston. As we do immunotherapy for cancer, we need to learn about immunology and, and also, say, autoimmune disorders and how they're managed with internal medicine. I think one of the great things about SITSI is it's a really good meeting for postdoctoral fellows and graduate students and trainees. I think it's going to be a great meeting. We have a great convention center. It's a lot of medical people in a very small space, and it really facilitates collaboration. I'm excited to host SITSI in Houston in November. For everyone who's coming from the north where it's already starting to get cold, I think you'll find in Houston in November, it should be in the 70s and fine and sunny. So you should be able to go outdoors during breaks in the meeting, and you should be able to go to restaurants in the evening and maybe even eat outside. a critical mass of, of uh, immunotherapy focused individuals in the Texas Medical Center that extend beyond cancer is very, very important. And the city is a hub of innovation, drug development, even device innovation, biotechnology, computational science. MD Anderson with Jim Allison leading their department of immunology has been a pioneer in the use of checkpoint inhibitors to treat cancer. It's been Always exciting to me to be able to kind of partner with basic scientists and translational scientists and, you know, again, experts in immunology and immunotherapy and really translate their findings to the clinic.